Hello there! I may not be much of a video game player, but that doesn't mean that I don't like the action figures that are produced from those video games. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 119, the GameStock Black Series Gaming Greats action figures of 2019 and 2020. <laughs> You know, you have to give some credit to GameStock. They have worked very well with Hasbro over the last few years to come up with some great Black Series figures based on those video games. While I do not have all the action figures from 2019 and 2020, I do have some interesting ones to show you in this video. So sit back, relax, and of course, hit that subscription button and notifications bell. And let's get started. How did you like that, that I had that upside down in the intro? All right, the first action figure I have to show you is the Stormtrooper Commander. Now, this, as you can see, it's a Stormtrooper. A lot of blue detail on it. Does come with a rifle and a pistol. And as you can see, this box is a little bit damaged up. But, hey, I got the figure. Well, first of all, maybe I should say, Back in 2019 and 2020, they were just the rectangular box. They didn't have that angled piece that came off the side here like the figures do nowadays. So this is still the old style, if you want to call it that, box. I do like on the back, it does tell you a little bit about the figure. And on the front, it does tell you what video game this figure came from. So the Stormtrooper Commander came from Star Wars, the Force Unleashed video game. What does it say on the back about it? Well, it says, Stormtrooper Commander. Star Wars, The Force Unleashed, follows Darth Vader's secret apprentice, trained to hunt down and destroy Jedi, while Stormtrooper Commanders lead Imperial troops into battle. I've never played the video game, so I don't know how he actually fits into the story, but I still think it is a very nice figure. Nicely done. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's just a basic Stormtrooper with a different paint job, but does that matter to a collector? I mean, does it really matter to a collector? And yeah, I have two of them. I have a feeling this was a case where I forgot I had one again and bought another one. Or maybe because I the first one I bought that I saw might have been the damaged one and I had an opportunity to get another one that the box was not damaged. By the way, this damaged one, if you want to know what I paid for, it was $29, or no, $24.99. The other one here doesn't have a price tag on it. Oh, one other thing, too. You'll notice a sticker on the bottom there. It wasn't on that point when I bought it. Right here is where it was. I wish GameStop would quit putting them up there. Put them on the bottom or something. At least their stickers are easy to peel off. If you just take your time, they do peel off pretty nice. There is the Stormtrooper Commander. What do you think of it? The next one is also from 2019, and that is the Shadow Stormtrooper. Yes, this time we have a black Stormtrooper, and um, like I say, I, don't, I haven't played the video game. By the way, this one is also from Star Wars The Force Unleashed, so the same video game as the other ones. Answer me a question, those of you who have played this. It looks like his middle section here is uh, kind of transparent and like that might be... Was this guy a robot or an android? Was he a droid? Let me know in the comments because it kind of looks like it. However, on the back, it does say the Shadow Stormtrooper. Star Wars, the Force Unleashed, follows Darth Vader's apprentice trained to hunt down and destroy Jedi while Shadow Troopers use cloaking devices to ambush enemies. So these guys could uh, basically come at you un invisible or clearly or nearly invisible. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of things I don't know about these characters because I don't play the games. So those of you with information may have to leave comments and let me know what good these characters were. Especially since this one too. I bought two of them. But can you ever go wrong with buying too many Stormtroopers? Probably not. Who else do we have? Well, if we got all these stormtroopers, 
we also have to have at least a battle droid somewhere, don't we? This happens to be a heavy battle droid, and as you can see from Star Wars Battlefront 2, different video game this time, on the back it says, Star Wars Battlefront 2 features heavy battle droids, modified B-1 battle droids armed with heavy blaster rifles and shield emitters to deflect most incoming enemy fire. Where were those in the Clone Wars? We didn't see them in the movies very much. But I like the accessories that this one comes with. Uh, you'll notice he comes with a very long rifle. Um, a shorter rifle or long pistol, if you want to call it that. Looks like he's got a radio transmitter. And way over on the side here, I can't quite make out what that is. And unfortunately, the pictures on the back and the front don't really tell me either. If you know what that is, could you just leave a comment and let me know? I really don't want to order, open up the box to find out. Because, as you can see, it's got a clear bubble. Or it's got a clear front on it. You can actually see the figure. No sticker on it. Don't remember what I paid for it. Moving on. Okay, the next one. Oh, we've got the purple side box here. And that's because it is not a stormtrooper or a battle droid. No. This time we have Jedi Knight Raven. Or Revan. Revan, I would say, probably is the correct term. What does it say about Jedi Knight Revan? The journey from Sith to Jedi is complete. In Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes. As redeemed Jedi Knight Revan wields his purple lightsaber while cloaked in white Jedi robes. This almost makes me want to get to the video game just to see what this character is all about. How does he act? What powers does he have? So forth and so on. As far as the figure goes, I do like the figure. And I do like that he has a purple lightsaber. So Mace Windu is not the only one who has a purple lightsaber. Well, I say this is from Galaxy of Heroes. What do you think of that? I, I, I like this figure. I like this Jedi. Don't know anything about him, but I like the figure. All right. Now we're going to move to 2020. Those were 2019. Now we're going to go to 2020. And the first one we have from 2020 is a Scout Trooper. And what does it say about the Scout Trooper? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order features Scout Troopers, often tasked with reconnaissance or long-ranged engagements, but also capable fighters when a target gets near. Kind of looks like a regular stormtrooper. Doesn't look like anything special. But I do like that he's got the little pistol here. And he's got his electro staff. A couple nice accessories there. At least you get a couple accessories with him. But not too bad. And here again, uh, we've got a stormtrooper. Got two of them. Or scout trooper, I should say. Uh, this one, I don't have how much it is. This one does have a sticker, $24.99 again. Okay, I think that might have been the standard Black Series figure at GameStop at that time. So, two Scout Troopers. The next one we have is another Black Storm Trooper, otherwise known as the Electro Staff Purge Trooper. This one is from Jedi Fallen Order. So, same video game as this one. And what does it say about the Purge Trooper? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order features Purge Troopers, a new class of soldiers who assist the Inquisitors in hunting down any remaining Jedi. Okay, well that just gave me a little more clue to what the game's about. We're hunting Jedi during that game, huh? And this is one of our basic tools to help us hunt down those Jedi. So I don't know. In the game, are you, can you choose between the Emperor or the Empire and the Jedi? Or are you stuck being a Purge Trooper or Stormtrooper or something like that? Nice figure, though. I do like that it comes with the big uh, Electro Staff there with a little bit of, you could say, electricity at the top and bottom. I uh, don't see any rifles with this one, so that must be his main staff or his main weapon that he uses. Only two more to go. The next one is Jango Fett from Star Wars Bounty Hunter. What other video game would he be in? He'd have to be in Bounty Hunter. Uh, he comes with uh, two pistols, and that seems to be about the extent of his accessories, but actually looks like a very nice figure. What does it say about him? Star Wars Bounty Hunter follows Jango Fett, 
the most fearsome bounty hunter in the galaxy, as he pursues an unhinged dark Jedi named Kamari Vasa. Did I say that right? I don't know. Like I say, I haven't played the video game, so I haven't heard the pronunciation of that. I'll just say Kamari Vasa for right now. So, like I said, very nice figure. Looks like it's very well done. I think the helmet might come off because I do see a chin underneath that helmet. So, nice looking figure there again. And the final one I have here from 2020 is Darth Nihilus. There again, did I say that right? Nihilus? Very interesting looking figure, I would say. Has a red lightsaber, so that immediately tells me that he's a Sith. If it, the name himself, Darth Nihilus, didn't tell me that. This does come from the game Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Star Wars Knight of the Old Republic 2 features Darth Nih Nihilus, a Darth Sith so lost to the dark side that he became an endlessly hungry void. That sounds interesting. You know, sometimes I think what I've got to do is not only maybe play the games, but it'd be great if authors would take these video games and actually write books on them. I know they have done some of those in the past. This one would be neat to see in a novel. So there we have it. The figures from GameStop. These are exclusive to GameStop. What, well, that one go over here. What do you think of these? Do you have these in your collection? Do you want these in your collection? Don't you care about having these in your collection? I like them. I'm glad I have them. Like I said, I know I don't have them all. Probably will never have them all. But I'm glad I've got what I've got. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know. And of course, hit that subscription button. Hit the notifications bell. And until next time, may the force be with you. I keep collecting.